It's Friday. Oh my god, I just scared my cat. He's like, I don't give a book if it's Friday or not. Um, it's Friday, which means it's time for our weekly beauty recap. Now, if you're like, Cody, why don't you have a full face of makeup on? Well, that's because it is now currently 4 p.m. on Friday, the day I'm posting this, and my entire week got derailed. So I don't have time to do a full face of makeup because normally I'd have this video filmed yesterday or early this morning so that it was already done and ready and scheduled for y'all, but here we are unprepared. So I'm gonna do the best I can so you guys can at least see this video today. You're welcome. I'm trying. I'm just trying to keep it real with y'all. Now that we got that out of the way, we have a lot of products to talk about this week. There are actually quite a few goodies, I think, this week, but also a few that are like, mm, why did you bother? So starting off strong, in my opinion, we have a new launch from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So this is available now. This is the new Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen. Now, if you're like, this looks like a knockoff, yes, it most certainly is a dupe. So this is an all-in-one lip plumper, gloss, and balm that drenches lips in a sheer wash of color and shine while plumping the appearance of lips with an invigorating tingle. We all love a good tingle. So the juicy non-sticky formula is infused with maracuja oil. I'm so tired of that word. For added moisturizing benefits, plus blueberry, watermelon, and pomegranate extracts for $8 each. Like the best part of a dupe is the affordability. Like, hello, $8 for this? Hello. These come in a variety of shades, including in the clear, which is clear, just peachy, which is a light peachy pink, pinky out, which is just a regular pink, toasted, which is a beige neutral, bust a mauve, which is mauve, plum on over, which is berry, red my mind, which is a sheer red, and wicked cherry, which is black cherry. Honestly, I want to try all of these shades. All of these look amazing. Do I want to try these? Absolutely, yes. Again, $8. You can't beat that. Next up, we have a new release from Matcha. This is their new, the Matcha Cleanse Daily Clarifying Gel Cleanser. That was a mouthful. This is a fragrance-free, soap-free clarifying gel cleanser that decongests pores and balances oil without stripping to reduce makeup slip off for primed, shine-free skin. This non-stripping formula lathers from gel to refreshing foam to decongest pores for a visibly clear matte canvas and reduces makeup slip off and improves all day wear by controlling oil. This has Japanese Kayo Matcha, BHA Botanical Alternatives, Japanese Mugwort, and retails for $40. This is marked as coming soon to their website and retailers. Do I think this is worth the wait or not? I'm gonna say no. I don't think $40 traditionally for a cleanser is worth it. I do know that Tatcha is kind of up there for most people when it comes to skincare products. I do think they have a great reputation. I wouldn't personally go out of my way to buy this. I just, I don't see a lot of allure when it comes to this brand or this product. Again, as always, if it fell into my lap, would I try it? Absolutely. I do hear great things about this brand. So I would try it. I just, I wouldn't go out of my way specifically to like buy this product. It's not worth the wait for me. Let me know in the comments if it's worth the wait for you. Next up, we have a new launch from Caudalie. Yes, it's pronounced Caudalie. This is available now in Europe. It's new. This is their Vino Crush Skin Tint. The Vino Crush Tinted Cream ensures an improved and even complexion while emphasizing the natural beauty of the skin. The encapsulated pigments of natural origin merge when applied to the skin and ensure an even color that matches your skin tone as well as a natural finish. Half care, half makeup with hyaluronic acid and grape water provides the skin with moisture all day long and makes it shine. This is marked as coming soon to their website and retailers. Now, of course, your first thought is, mm, there's only five shades, what the fuck? And yeah, I'm right there with you. I will say that this is not a foundation and that does matter to an extent. With foundation, you're looking for a lot more coverage, which means you really do need the foundation shades to be a lot more true to your skin tone because you really do need it to match as close to exact as possible. When it does come to skin tints, which is basically what this is, you don't need to have as exact of a match or as much of a range because typically speaking, skin tints or BB creams, they tend to just melt into your skin and they a lot of times will take on the skin tone that you have, which is why there's almost always only a handful or two of shades when it comes to those types of products. I do still fully believe that you should have far more than five shades available in my opinion. So I, I still won't think that five shades for any type of product, especially a complexion product, is appropriate, but that is why there will always be a lot less shades available when it comes to these types of products compared to a foundation. Up next, we have a sneak peek from a new collection from Glamlight. I'm very, very excited about this. 
So this is the new Betty Boop X Glam Light Collection. So I'm seeing a palette, I'm seeing a mirror, lipsticks, and more. This says it's going to be available February 2nd on their website. This is looking really cute. I love Valentine's Day, I love reds, I love pinks. Betty Boop is such a cute little iconic character. All these photos that I'm seeing are very, very cute. The Glam Light team did a very good job at kind of really incorporating this theme and this iconic character in all these photos. Did a really, really, really great job. Obviously you really can't see all the products in detail yet. It's just a sneak peek. But from what I can see, I'm liking it. So definitely will be on the lookout for obviously an actual reveal of this collection. It's nice to see brands that actually execute collaborations with effort, shade intended. Do I think this is gonna be worth the wait or not? Absolutely. Next up, we have a new launch from Makeup Revolution. I haven't seen much from Makeup Revolution lately, so I'm somewhat excited about this. I feel like Makeup Revolution is very hit or miss for people. So this is available now. This is their new Skin Silk Foundation. It's a skin-loving serum foundation. This is soft as silk, light as air, powered by skincare for a healthy glow. Plump and hydrate your complexion. This is a lightweight, breathable foundation for subtle coverage or build for that second skin effect. It claims it's a light to medium coverage, housed in a luxe glass bottle with built-in pump for precision and greater control upon application. It comes in 20 shades and retails for $14. Says it's perfect for all skin types, lightweight, breathable formula for coverage without compromising the complexion, soft focus, radiant satin finish that blurs imperfection while letting your skin shine. It also says it's powered by Super Hydrator Hyaluronic Acid, which is a plumping humectant that promotes soft and supple skin texture and peptides to boost collagen. These work to firm, brighten, and hydrate the skin, and it's cruelty-free and vegan. These will be available January 31st from Makeup Revolution's website, and in January in Ulta stores, January 31st at Superdrug, February 14th for Boots in the UK, again, only $14. Virtually all the comments I'm seeing are about the shade range because there's only 20 shades. People don't like that. I agree with that, of course. Again, it's 2024, 20 shades is not acceptable. Again, more than anything, the undertones just aren't cute. If you're gonna only put out 20 shades, you should maximize the undertones that are available in all those shades to, so that you can at least really stretch the available 20 shades to really actually benefit as many people as possible. Again, there's no reason that you couldn't have taken those 20 shades and doubled it to 40 and really done a lot more with it. I just, I'll never, ever, ever agree with 20 shades being enough shades for anybody, for any brand, especially a brand as large as Makeup Revolution. So that's the general discourse that I'm seeing online right now. So let me know if you agree with that or not. Hopefully you do agree because there's just really no reason to not cater to as many people as possible. Up next, we have even more products from Charlotte Tilbury. They are dropping products like it's going out of style. It's kind of insane. So these are new shades of their lip liners that are gonna match their Hollywood Beauty Icon lipsticks that we talked about last week or the week before. I lose track. So the Lip Cheat lip liners retail for $25 each. They come in the shades The Queen, which is a hot pink, Icon Baby, which is a rose nude, Mark of a Kiss, which is a muted red, Red Carpet Red, which is a modern red, and 90s Pink, which is a 90s inspired rose pink. These are marked as coming soon to their website and retailers. These look nice. I think the shades are really, really pretty. I definitely can see how they're gonna complement the lipsticks that I showed you guys the other week. Definitely look really, really pretty on these lip swatches. So, I mean, do I think $25 for a lip liner is appropriate? Mm. It's, it's really pushing it for a pencil at the end of the day, but it is Charlotte Tilbury, so it's definitely in line with their average price points. I don't think it's a price that is shocking to anybody who is a regular Charlotte Tilbury consumer. So, you know, do I think this is worth the wait or not? I'm gonna say yeah. I would try these out for sure. All right, this next launch kind of had me shaking in my Trader Joe's boots because Trader Joe's has makeup and skincare, I had no idea. I've never actually been to a Trader Joe's. I've heard of it and I've had a friend bring me snacks from one before when I lived in Florida. But um, apparently Trader Joe's has skincare. So this is a new lip duo just in time to celebrate Valentine's Day. So it's a chocolate bar lip mask duo. It's a thick, luxurious texture and soothing feel. Shea butter, coconut oil, and respectively, cocoa seed butter and raspberry seed oil, pink and red packaging, chocolate and berry scents. I feel like that'd be overwhelming to me. I feel like chocolate, raspberry, things like that. I think that combo together as like candy and food, fantastic. I feel like in makeup or skincare products, it's overwhelming, but maybe that's just me. There's also a Brazil nut body oil, which is now in a big size and individual. It has salted caramel and pistachio scent, Ugh. super hydrating with Brazil nut, sunflower, olive macadamia, and jojoba oils, squalene and guarana extract to help lock in moisture all day long. I'm gonna say um, no. Again, this is available now. Is this something that I would try? Absolutely not. Honestly, both of these products make me kind of want to gag. Like, this does not sound enticing to me or enjoyable to me at all. Like, let me know. Like, would you try these? Because for me, no, no, no. Up next, we have even more Makeup Revolution products. 
Available now is their new Fluffy Filter Brow Duo. So this says, make 2024 flake free and fluffy with the Fluffy Brow Filter Duo. Wow, that's a mouthful. It has an ultra fine brow pencil and gel wax to lift and enhance, all enriched with hair loving ingredients. I kind of love that. One millimeter unique blade like pencil with angled precision tip to create hair like strokes. Small dense eyebrow brush to coat every hair and a clear universal flake free gel wax formula that helps lift and fluff brows with ease. It's powered by brow boosting panthenol complex to hydrate and nurture each hair, peptides to strengthen natural hairs, and it's cruelty free and vegan. It comes in five shades and retails for $9 each. The shades are ash brown, medium brown, dark brown, granite, and blonde. This will be available February 18th at Target and January 31st at Superdrug. Now, I don't personally like brow pencils like this. I get that you can tilt it all the way to the end and use the fine tip at the very top to really get in there and be precise. I just don't really like the diamond shaped brow pencils. I want the ones that are so fine and so, so tiny overall. I want it to be very, very small. Think ABH Brow Wiz, think Koki Cosmetics Brow Pencil. Like ones like that, that's what I like. I don't really like these big bulky flat shapes. I see how you can benefit from them when you can lay them flat and really fill in a larger area quickly. Again, for me, I don't need that. I don't want that. So this is not something that I would wait for. Price point wise, $9. That's great for a brow pencil. Next, we have some new additions to the Sephora Care Line. So we have the Make It Glow, which is made for face, eyes, and body. You can use it under or over makeup on targeted areas and mixed with foundation. Fresh glow in a single drop, lightweight and comfortable texture. It comes in three shades. There's also the Make It Bronze, which is a transformative cream to powder formula, natural second skin finish, multi-use stick for an effortless natural tan effect in four shades. It's marked as coming soon online and in stores. I think these would be neat to try in my makeup routine. You can use these as highlighters, basically. You can use them as basically illuminizers underneath your foundation or in your foundation, skin toppers. You can use some of them as cream contour, basically. So you can use these in a variety of ways. So I would definitely like to try these. I don't know what the price point is. So I'm assuming since it's Sephora, it's probably gonna be pricier, but since it's also just the Sephora brand, I can't imagine it being too expensive but I would like to try these. How about you? Next up, we have a new collection from Makeup Eraser and I actually just got a package from them yesterday and I haven't opened it up. It's sitting right there. So I think it's probably this. It is their new Strawberry Fields seven day set. This retails for $25 and it's available right now. So you can erase all makeup with just water, including waterproof makeup. It's water activated, cloud soft fibers, gently and easily remove all makeup and sunscreen from your pores. It has a two in one benefit. So one side erases makeup and one side will exfoliate your skin very gently. It's non-irritating and non-drying, making it perfect for sensitive skin, safer lash extensions, and entirely oil-free for a fresh, comfortable experience. I personally use makeup erasers every single day. I also use them for a variety of reasons. One, I use them to obviously remove my makeup. I use them when I'm double cleansing. I use them to dry off my brushes after I wash them. I use them to remove my excess skincare, like masks and whatnot. I use them to wipe down my mirrors when I'm cleaning them. I use them in a lot of ways. I have so many collections of makeup erasers from over the years that I should honestly do a dedicated like makeup eraser collection. Maybe I will. These have helped my skin over the years so much rather than using really harsh, abrasive makeup wipes and whatnot. It just, these, these are a game changer. If you've never used a makeup eraser or something similar, highly recommend. Next up, we have a new reveal from MAC Cosmetics. This is the new Jelly Slime All Over Highlighter already gonna tell you I'm not gonna like this. So these are light reflecting, silky smooth formulas that come in two exclusive small batches, 500 of each shade in gold and silver hues that can be used for all over shine. These will be available January 24th at 9 a.m. PST on their US website only. Interesting, that is very, very limited, very exclusive. So that is kind of interesting. I'm just not the biggest fan of MAC if I'm being quite honest. I have a few lipsticks from them and I did like them. I just, I just feel like MAC is I don't know, I feel like they're a staple brand for sure, but I just feel like it's a very boring company and I feel like they, they're they around because they are staple, but I just feel like at some point you gotta get exciting. Like you gotta get exciting, get with the times. Like I just feel like for me, I want more from a brand. I want exciting, I want more colorful. I just want more vibrancy. I just want more, I want more energy. More cowbell. I also personally don't like putty types of products. I don't like jelly highlighter types of products. I don't like stuff like this. So for me, it's not it's not something for me, but maybe for you and that's obviously totally fine. So is it worth the wait for me? No. Next up, we have yet another launch from Tarte Cosmetics. And before you say it, no, I'm not an anti-Tarte channel. I am not a Tarte hater. I just hate most of what Tarte puts out. What? What? There's a big difference. And I'll have you know, I actually like this launch. So these are their new Man Eater Satin Blush Cheek Plumps. These are available now. 
These are the new lightweight liquid gel blushes for a satin flush with a plumping effect. Natural looking blush makes cheeks appear visibly plumper and lifted. Cooling serum like blush delivers fresh dewy buildable color for rosy cheeks. With coconut water, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E, these are vegan and cruelty free. These come in 11 shades and retail for $29. Honestly, as I'm looking through these shades, they're very, very, very pretty. I really want to point out that I appreciate that they do have several shades that are definitely going to be beautiful on deeper skin tones, such as plum, poppy, hot pink, pink raspberry, cinnamon. I think it's something that could look really pretty on a deeper skin tone. For someone my skin tone, I think beige, pink, warm pink would look pretty. Pink coral would look pretty. I could use hot pink if I was very careful about it. Very careful. I'm talking like a quarter of a dot. I could maybe possibly get away with it. But these are really, really pretty. Are they worth the wait? Dare I say yes? Dare I say yes? Okay, next we have a reveal from Clarins, and I feel a little conflicted about this. Here's why. So looking at this first photo, okay, these are their Lip Comfort Oils. So before I even talk about the product, look at this photo. These are hella vibrant. These look so pigmented, so gorgeous. Now look at this photo. Where's the color? Where's the saturation? Where's the vibrancy? Those are such significantly different photos. I would buy all three of these colors just from the first photo because they are so bold and beautiful. I would absolutely not buy these just from the second photo. This is why having accurately photographed products is so important because it can be very misleading to the consumer. So take that as you will. So with that said, these are a nourishing lip treatment formulated with a trio of plant oils to comfort the lips with visibly plumping, high shine results, and a hint of color. These retail for $30 each, which is mm, kind of getting up there. They come in three shades, passionate pink, daring orange, joyful yellow, and who knows how vibrant they'll actually be when you get them. These are marked as coming soon to their retailers and website. Do I think these are worth the wait or not? I really don't know because these photos are just so, so different. I really can't form an opinion visually because like I said, first photo, absolutely. I would buy these in a heartbeat. Second photo, absolutely not. So I, I, I don't know. You tell me, cause I don't know. Next up is a reveal from a collab between Hello Kitty and Friends and Starface. These are new pimple patches. There are 32 hydrocolloid patches packaged in a refillable big compact and a mirror inside. These are made with 100% hydrocolloid, which is a material that's clinically proven to absorb fluid and help reduce the appearance of inflammation to shrink spots overnight. Each character has their own compact and refill with 32 hydrocolloid patches inside. These are kind of cute. These will be available January 25th on their website. Um, these aren't something that I personally use or would use. I would prefer just to use skincare. I know a lot of people use patches like these and a lot of people love these. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to buy these. Um, I don't see a price on these. I would hope that they wouldn't be too expensive. I do like that it comes with 32 of them because I feel like most people typically get more than one or two little dots at a time. You know what I mean? So they're probably going to need or want a, a good, a good amount of these in a collection. So I'm glad that they're giving at least 32. Um, it's not worth the wait for me personally, but maybe it is for you. This next reveal is from Glow Recipe. There has been a lot of chatter online about this. A lot of people were like, when are you gonna drop this? And they finally did. So this is from Glow Recipe. This is the new Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Q Drops Sun Glow Serum. That is a very long and kind of unnecessary name if you ask me, but this is a serum in shade Sun Glow with a sheer tint that even skin tone with a warm glow while niacinamide visibly brightens skin over time. This multi-use serum features brightening and hydrating ingredients. This buildable tinted serum flatters a wide range of tones for a natural glow that looks healthy, not streaky or patchy. It retails for $35. It's marked as coming soon to online and stores. I absolutely would love to try this out. I'm not super familiar with Glow Recipe products. I haven't got to try a lot from them, so I definitely would like to try this. One, because I do hear a lot of great things about Glow Recipe. Two, I love niacinamide. It's a staple in my skincare routine. Three, I am pale AF without bronzer on. Like I'm literally Casper the Friendly Ghost. I am Edward Cullen. I am transparent. I don't go in the sun at all. So I would love a little bit of something something on my skin just to make me look like I'm alive. So maybe this could be what I'm looking for this whole time. But then I'm like, what if my face is a different color than the rest of my body? I don't want to be one of those girls, you know? Is this worth the wait or not? I'm gonna say absolutely yes. I would really like to try this. Next up, we have a luxury launch from YSL Beauty. So there are two new complexion products. So first there is the All Hours Hyper Finish Powder. So this is a matte powder that reduces blemishes, refines pores, and smooth skin texture. This gives a natural, soft, and flawless application effect. With 90% natural skincare active ingredients, love that, with niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, Lametta from Orica, I don't know what that means, Community Gardens, it has 11 shades and a brush, cute. 
The second product is the All Hours Hyper Bronze Powder. This is designed to last for 24 hours, I don't believe that, and provide a natural sun-kissed glow. This claims to minimize pores and smooth skin texture with a soft matte finish with 90% natural skincare active ingredients with niacinamide, run acid, Lametta from Orica Community Gardens. It says it's sweatproof, waterproof, creaseproof, and it only comes in five shades. Really don't like the five shade thing. That's a bit insane if you ask me. And why I say I don't believe it's gonna last 24 hours, powders, first off, don't last too long, but bronzers, for me at least, do not last that long, let alone 24 hours, so. That's a big claim, YSL Beauty, and I already know y'all gonna be hella expensive, but this is just marked as coming soon to their website and retailer, so I already know this is gonna be very expensive. I would like to see reviews on this, but those reviews are not gonna come from me. Next up, we have a new reveal from Milk Makeup. This is their Cooling Water Jelly Tint. This is a sheer lip and cheek stain. Okay, cool. So this is a long-lasting blush and lip stain with a hydrating, bouncy jelly texture that glides on for a sheer, buildable burst of color. This retails for $24. It comes in shades Burst, which is a poppy pink, Chill, which is a red, Spritz, which is coral, and Splash, which is berry. This will be available on January 26th on their website and retailers. This looks kind of cute. This is a very interesting looking texture. I think the shades are very, very, very muted. I don't feel like it's something that I would like. I know that it says it's buildable, but I'm just like, how buildable? I typically like my complexion products to be a little bit more noticeable than this. I definitely can see how this would look great on people who like that more fresh faced look, that no makeup makeup look, that clean girl aesthetic kind of look. For me, it's not something that I think I would like. I would try it, but do I think this is worth the wait? No. Next up, we have a new launch from Cicely Paris. This is a new foundation. This is their Fido Tant Perfection 5C Golden Foundation. This is available now. This is a mattifying, transfer-proof, high-coverage foundation powered by the Ideal Skin Complex to improve the look of skin quality over time. This bad boy retails for $125. It comes in 29 shades with different undertones between warm, cool, and neutral. I think the packaging doesn't look as luxurious as I think it should for a $125 price point. Okay, the shades, the, the, the white people side is like shockingly white. Like usually even on the white people side, it's like some variety. This is literally all the same shades of white rice. It's absolutely insane. Like this is literally 50% mayo over there. Like that's kind of crazy. And then on the non-white people side, it's like, Still not too diverse. I'm moving on because that's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Do I think this is worth the wait? No. And last but most certainly not least, we have to talk about a new launch from Kosas. So this is their BB Burst Tinted Moisturizer Gel Cream with Copper Peptide. I'm already gonna tell you I'm not gonna try this product and I'm not looking forward to this product for a few reasons, but we'll get into that. So. This is a clean tinted gel cream that delivers a refreshing burst of active skincare, lightweight yet buildable coverage, and a smooth hydrated natural finish. This is a light coverage tinted moisturizer that rapidly smooths and visibly evens tone for a healthy look. It's powered by triple hydration technology that fortifies the skin barrier with collagen supporting copper peptides and visible redness reducing zinc oxide, safe for sensitive skin, gluten free, cruelty free, and vegan for $38. Comes in 24 shades and will be available February 1st on their website and Sephora. Firstly, their shade ranges always are absolute abominable trash. This is so embarrassing. The insanity, the insanity that this company continuously puts out products that are literally so, so insensitive. Just not even, insensitive isn't even the word. Just offensive, disrespectful, disgusting, just disgusting towards non-white people. Crazy to me, crazy to me. Besides that, the fact that they literally have not addressed the fact that so many people have allegedly, allegedly had so many issues with their products, damaging their skin, burning their skin, giving them severe reactions, receiving products that are supposed to be brand new that are set to expire in like two months or six weeks. Like I literally have creator friends who her face literally had such a severe reaction to this product. And then when she looked at the lot number and looked at the expiration date, it was like a couple months getting ready to be, you know, expired. Why is there no response? Why is there no answer? Like, why is there nothing? There's nothing. They just keep pumping out these products and they have the audacity to ask me if they could send me PR and I said, absolutely not. I said, how about you address the fact that my friend is sitting here for weeks now with her face literally destroyed from your product. And you better believe I never got a response from that either. So don't expect to see any content from me on any of my platforms from this brand in any foreseeable future for any of the previously mentioned reasons. 
Woo. That's a lot of talking for a Friday. That's a lot of products. Like when I was sitting down and getting ready to like go through all these photos, I was like, oh my God, there's 65 photos. It's gonna be a long video. So hopefully it's not too long of a video because it is Friday and I know y'all don't want to stay here forever. But that's all I have for this Friday's beauty recap. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you thought about these new beauty releases. What are you guys going to go run out and grab? What are you snatching up? What do you think about my opinions on these products? Do you think anything is super exciting? Do you think anything is a little bit overhyped? What are you looking forward to? What are you not looking forward to? All the questions. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your Friday and an even better weekend. Don't forget, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button so you can join my YouTube family. And please turn on my notifications to all so y'all can see my long form videos now that we're back to posting long form all the time and not just shorts. We're struggling over here. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.